guys, this is Rain from the Ring and welcome back to my channel. The channel is all about traveling, good food and hey, lots of motorcycles. That's right, we're at Harley Davidson this morning. Had to check something out. Um, there was a little hiccup on my bike on my uh, newly acquired CVO. One of the bags on the bike didn't lock. It wasn't able to lock, you know, with the remote. So, I mean, I lock it and I couldn't open this one, but I could open this one. The guys here always helping out real grateful they've been looking after me all these years and yeah it's been fixed perfect because i'm gonna go on a ride today with the guys i'm in rain mode right now because i'm expecting rain in about i don't know maybe an hour Hopefully not, but you know, looks that way. We're gonna go up north here on Jane. That's where the Fath Harley moved to. And I think, I don't know which road I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go on the highway. So I wanna talk to you guys about this bike. Am I regretting it? I mean, the bags wouldn't lock and the seal was a little off, so. I don't know, am I regretting this bike already after, I don't know, two weeks? So we're heading north today on the 400 and I'm going to let you know if I really do regret this bike. I was just at Harley checking out the bags because they wouldn't lock. A brand new CVO, the locks don't work. What's up? So do I regret getting this bike? Well, of course I don't, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what I regret getting this bike. This bike is the most awesome bike I've gotten from Harley. Yes, that includes the ST. And that includes my Sportsters that I've had in the past. Man, this bike, this touring bike is super awesome. I mean, it's just amazing the way that it rides. The way they ride is like it's not even a touring bike. I'm not like a highly skilled motorbike rider. This bike, it flatters you, man. It makes you feel like you really know how to ride because everything comes real easy. Now, mind you, this is almost a 900 pound bike, even they've shaved 31 pounds of this bike from the previous version of the CVO Street Glide. And since this bike is so heavy, it should ride heavy, right? Well, it doesn't. And that's why I'm saying this bike really flatters you because the way you can handle this bike while it's going at speeds, while you're in parking lot speeds, it's just like simple to maneuver. It's simple to maneuver in terms of it being a touring bike, of course. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, well, it's maneuvering like a sports bike. It's not, but it's super amazing that you could get up to speed in rain mode, guys. Rain mode. I mean, there's a big difference between the rain mode and the sports mode. But since look at the sky, I'm expecting rain. I'm gonna put it in rain. And besides, we're all, we're not in a hurry to get to anywhere. So as I was saying, this bike is super maneuverable, and this screen. <laughs> on a Harley? Come on, man. It's not what I expect that they would do to a brand new Harley. Although I've been speculating on what they will do to new Harleys, as in the new Turing, because it's the flagship of the whole company. They're all about Turing. I mean, I don't think none of you guys will disagree with that, right? But I was expecting a lot, yet not this. Look at this. It's like I'm sitting in an Audi or I'm sitting in a Mercedes or something. This screen is up to date, okay? And in terms of Harley, it's way beyond 2023. <laughs> I mean, because on a touring bike that, you know, you could travel through around the world with, I mean, a screen like this is indispensable. The old screen was okay. It was, you know, maybe, I don't know, half the size of this, and you got physical gauges. 
But when you're talking about CVO, custom vehicles operations, you mean your best bike that you can offer to your consumers is still something that reminds of the, of the 80s? No, man. This is what should be on CVOs, and I'm so glad they finally implemented you know this type of technology i mean i'm sure they had the technology they just didn't want to change because a lot of guys who ride harley are really against changes especially to their touring bikes and i'm saying it right now harley has done a perfect job of implementing this awesome new screen on this awesome new cvo that is just like a dream to ride i mean if you always rode your road glides and your street glides and you're used to how they are you know that this is worth the money that they're asking i mean it's not that much more than say last year's cvo anyways it rides totally different than any other cvos i've ridden and i've had four like i said in the previous video and those four they rode relatively similar to each other and i guess it might be even easier to understand if i say that it's not so much better it's different it's not even the same bike i mean it looks and feels the same it rides totally different it rides like a brand new all redesigned cvo street glide i no longer really call this bike the bat wing theory i call it the eagle wing that's the proper new name for the new CVO Street Glide, the Eagle Wing. That's that's what it reminds me of when I see it from pictures and even from sitting in a cockpit. It feels like it's in about 10 days ownership. This bike, if you're into touring bikes and if you're into Harleys, this is what you need. <laughs> I mean, 100%, no doubt. I'm saying that. It's it's totally different than your other previous CVOs or street glides, street glide specials. It's it's I mean I haven't written the road glide CVO but this this is amazing. That's all I can say man. So if you ask me, am I having the buyer's regret after 10 days riding in in a few hundred kilometers? Oh man. No man, I'm not regretting nothing about this bike. This bike has been nothing but fabulous. Nothing but awesomeness. I'm not kidding. 100% awesome. And after riding it for about 10 days, I've noticed a few things. The footboard, the position of the footboard, they're roughly the same it feels, but I feel for my body it fits more it feels like that it's back a little bit just like a little bit not much the only thing i'm wondering right now is if i should take the heel shifter off so i could put my foot like here on the left as well any of you guys know what this light here is for this indicator this red little dot i don't know what it is but i think it's record so another thing with this bike that I would like to mention is that it stalled on me twice. So the more correct way of saying it is this bike, the engine, it stopped running um, twice. Once was when I maybe missed shift in the first or a forced shift into first and it went dead on me. Like I mean I missed a lot of shifts on any other bike but it never stalls the engine it doesn't stop the engine from running so i don't know what's with that but ask me again do i regret getting this bike man you gotta be kidding me <laughs> so i think i might be heading into the clouds now I'm not sure hopefully i won't get caught in it but whatever this feel has been real nice ever since like 40 something years ago man so another reason i 
think this bike is super awesome is that the engine is just crazy sweet I mean you're always in a sweet spot rain mode at 6 so then some guy also asked man do you regret you know paying the extra for the paint the whiskey need and raven black metallic man if you see this bike in real life if you see this bike in person you know ain't no one gonna regret getting this color though man this this paint job is super awesome in fact i talked to so many other guys who've seen the bike in real life in person they all appreciate it so much they actually think already undercharged for this paint job i have to agree with them man this paint job is super crazy good markup that you pay for the paint job over the dark platinum i'd say it's worth every penny absolutely man so this has been a short 10 day review of my 2023 CVO Street Glide in Whiskey Knee and Raven Dark Metallic. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know what your thoughts on this awesome bike. What do you think of it? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I mean, well, what are your thoughts on this new CVO man or the CVO Road Glide? You know, the golders out there, guys who test rode this or guys who are thinking about getting this bike. Leave them in the comments. So thanks for watching this video of mine. If you like my videos, remember to comment, like, and share. If you think my content is good, remember to consider subscribing to my channel.